Yo, what is up, guys? So we're talking about Destiny 2 today. Now, I've been hearing a lot of things about from different content creators and Bungie themselves saying that our expectations should be lowered for the next seasons to come. And what they mean by that is content-wise. So, if we think about it, Shadowkeep came with... And I'm going to be separating from Shadowkeep from Season of the Undying because they're too different. Let's start off with Season of the Undying. Season of the Undying came with a raid and the Vex Offensive, and then, what, one piece of armor, I'm sorry, one set of armor, and then four weapons. And then including the raid armor and then the raid weapons. That's not a lot. If that's the qual, if that's the content or the quality of content that we're gonna be getting from now on, then I have a lot of issues with it considering that the season is ten dollars. That's fine. I don't care about that. Eververse, one item costs ten dollars. That's enough for the the whole season, my dude. What? Like, I don't want this to go down to an Eververse talk, but real talk. When Eververse has items that's equivalent or more of a season, then I feel like that's a little bit of a problem there. Especially when at that point they're just trying to double dip. They're trying to make as the least amount of content for the most amount of money. Which I get. That's smart. But if I'm going to kill $10 or, you know, $59.99 on Shadowkeep and all the DLCs that are going to come out for all that shit. I expect quality content. I don't expect them to be like, alright guys, we took your money, but expect lower quality of content later on. That's where I have an issue, especially when I'm here. I keep hearing where, well, you know, Bungie said that like the seasons for season of the Forge, season of the Drifter, and season of Opulence was really hard on them, and like they were going through crunch. Really? Like, why? I don't understand. Like, you did, you had, you had a season of the Forge. Once that was done, you were working on season of the Drifter. And then after Season of, of the Drifter came out, you were working on Season of the Opulence. How is that hard? You're literally making content for the next content for the next content. Like, that's how that works. That's work. So, if you're saying, oh, like, well, the, quant the content was harder because of the time. Like, it was season after season after season. Have a six-month break after... After, uh... A season or two months or a month whatever a month to six months i'd be okay with that now you guys would have to make stuff with like within those months that way people don't, don't just like fuck off but that's my issue is that you guys came into this into the game thinking oh we're gonna do a live live service game this is what a live service looks like i'm sorry but a live service looks like you continually making content for people to play your game because the way you want us to play is you want us to just play Destiny all the time. That's literally live service games. Don't you can try to fight me on that, but it's literally like that. Live service. That means you either you play almost every day or you play your whole life on and off. That's literally it. So for me, if you really don't like that setup, make it into something else. Because you can't tell me, oh man, this is really hard on us. What about every other MMO? Look at like WoW. WoW's been going hard how long now? Final Fantasy 14, how has that been going hard now? How hard has that one been going? Especially Final Fantasy 14. That one's been going hard. But you're telling me that destiny can't keep up and i know your team's not that small either like bungie's team is not that small so i don't understand like where this this is coming from like if we look at content compared to like destiny and like any other mmo destiny's very bare bones one one event and then one raid comparing that to like a wow expansion when there's like how many raids how many dungeons how many events how many of this how many of that how many armor sets how many weapons how many just everything 
how many starter at locations, how many locations in general. But Destiny can only give us like one area, one raid, one one armor set now, I guess. In my personal opinion, I don't think I should lower my expectations because I'm already pretty low on expectations to be honest. Like if the next season only comes with one armor set from the event, one raid armor set, which is fine, we've always had that, and that's it, then what's the point? Like, what is the point? Please tell me, guys. Like, I'm not trying to be negative, but what is the point of basically paying $10 for a season when you're only going to get, like, what, maybe two exotics? And they're given to you and then maybe an event that's throwable which means I'm not gonna grow attached to it one armor set that may look good may look bad and then the armor set or the raid armor set if we even get a raid armor or a raid a raid and then the battle pass which will have all the cool shit and then Eververse which again will have all the cool shit so that's that's kind of where my head's at where it's like i mean content wise you shouldn't go down because you literally sell almost everything in eververse so we, i know we're, we're funding your shit i've spent money on eververse i know we're funding you specifically you now even though people think no back in that back when activision was there activision took some of the money okay whatever if you want to think that way but where do we go from here is it is it going to be to a point where oh yeah now don't expect raids all the time now expect like maybe one raid every two dlcs now do you get me like when are people gonna stop giving bungie so much leeway when it's like oh yeah now we're not gonna do this or that like the moment i stopped giving them leeway was when they took faction rally and trials away because essentially they took content that was in the game away from you. So your $59.99 that you paid for became a little less because they took that away from you. No faction rally. No trials. No vendor refresh. I don't want to sound negative and I don't want to be a rant channel. I really don't. I really love Destiny 2. It's one of the games that I grew up playing. It's one of the games I found some of my best friends. And it's one of the games that I love the world. I love the lore. I love pretty much everything. But when they start to hold my passion for this game hostage, and try to coerce me into like giving them more chances that's when i have an issue because at this point there's so many great games out there there's final fantasy 14 there's there's arc survival evolve which i know is a meme at sometimes but i have a lot more fun now there than in destiny 2 because i don't play this game for so to be social if I did, I'd be playing like Final Fantasy XIV. Shit, wow, probably. This game is a looter shooter that is lo that is losing its looter aspect of it. It's losing so much just so people can be like, no, it's fine, it's fine, just give them a chance and they'll get better. I'm tired, of I'm tired, dude. I've been giving them a chance since Destiny 1. Destiny 1 beta. I've been saying I've been saying that since fucking Destiny 2, beginning of Destiny 2, dog. Like when we had double primaries. Oh no, it'll get better, guys. It'll get better. Next DLC will get better. What happened? We had two shitty DLCs and then Forsaken, which was the best DLC in the in the whole franchise. But we had to go through two shitty DLCs again. So my fear is that Bungie doesn't doesn't learn. They don't learn they they're just gonna take advantage of their fans 
and just be like, yeah, just give us a chance. Just, just give us a chance, baby. We'll change. And I'm kind of done. Uh, kind of done. If you guys haven't noticed, I've had a lot more other games recently. I've, I did a Modern Warfare video not too long ago. I have Remnants of the Ashes and Code Vein uh, stocked up right now. I'm going to be doing videos for those. I'm, I'm kind of done giving Destiny a chance because I'm not going to lie. The moment they said you're, that our expectations should be lower for the next seasons, that was it. That was uh, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I was like, I'm fucking done, dude. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I really can't. Like, I'm tired. I'm really tired. And like, it's funny too, because like, I have another video that I have to make for Destiny 2, and I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it because people know me as Destiny 2 already. But that's why I'm going to try to like wean it off eventually. Because I know people aren't going to be watching at this point. Only like my hard, like my actual fans, some, some of the people that actually like me are at this point, like listening to me. Like, I'm sorry, guys, but I will be, I will still be doing Destiny 2. I will still be covering Destiny 2. But I'm going to literally try to find anything else I can do because Destiny 2 is just a sinking ship. And apparently no one's, no one's seen that. And I'm not saying Destiny's dying or it's dead. It's just, it's at that point where it'll become a husk. Like, there's just, dude, you're telling me to lower my expectations for next DLCs? What are we going to have? Nothing. We're not going to have anything. Like, what I when they said that, all my mind went to was, we're never going to have another Taken King, Forsaken. No. Rise of Iron, because Shadow Keep wasn't as big as Rise of Iron in my opinion. Like, Rise of Iron came out came out with so much weapons, armor, like gold. It was so much, and then Shadow Keep was just like nothing for me at least. I know people like, oh no, this was better. Whatever, that's your opinion. For me, Rise of Iron was better. Now, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm honestly just kind of exhausted with Bungie at this point like the fact that they said that just like wow like just blew me away so let me know what you guys think about this video I'm sorry if it sounds ranty I promise you I don't want to be a ranty channel but Destiny 2 just keeps doing dumb shit and I don't want to be like hey this, this game is amazing like don't, don't ignore that just look at the cool stuff no like I don't want to do that so for all of you who are at this point, thank you very much for sticking with me. I know I'm a bit of an asshole and an entitled gamer, as some dumb fucks say, but I really love this franchise and I don't want to see it die or become a Call of Duty shell, even though I said that Modern Warfare was amazing. At the end of the day, there's a lot of Call of Duties that have just been very shell-like experiences. Like, And you guys know if you guys know, but that's what it is. Other than that, if you guys want to talk to me my twitter is down below if you guys want to see some shit from my instagram i'll again down below in the description not only that but if you guys want to catch up with me or whatever social media whatever i'm really just sad about the whole destiny 2 thing right now to be honest guys i'm sorry so let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys later